previously. I'm Triff Gaming! We have Barpa teaming up, five interruptions, sell a man great board, three hand traps, a buckle skull, and the counter trap. This video is going to blow your mind. We won. The FDK was too consistent not to show you guys the deck profile. You guys already saw it. You guys already saw the infinite amount of ways to put up the FDK. Yeah, boy did it again. Your boy did it again. He broke pendulums yet again. This is the very beautiful subscribe button, which you should subscribe to. And after you subscribe, by clicking that beautiful red button, you can then go in the description and get a beautiful Trift Gaming Playmat. And after you get a beautiful Trift Gaming Playmat, you can like, like the video and like comment. And then after you do that, you can check out my beautiful deck profile Pendulum FDK with the gadgets. Let's get straight into it. Honestly, I've outdone myself. First, I put up five negate gadget pendulums. Now, an FDK? Yo, knock. Who's the greatest player to ever live in this game? I am. <laughs> the correct answer is Pengon. I'm gonna show you exactly why with this incredible gadget FDK pendulum deck. Yeah, gadget pendulum FDK deck. Let's go. So this is going to be the profile. The other video is going to, you guys already ha haven't seen already. This is going to be my second video. The first one is a combo tutorial. So if you haven't seen that yet, go to it right now. It's absolutely amazing. Make sure to subscribe to the greatest YouTube channel known to mankind. Get this beautiful trip gaming play, man. And FTK your opponents on it. And watch them squirm while you smile. Here is the deck. Nine gadgets. You need to play as many as you can. You need to play 60 cards just because you want to win. So you want to play 60 cards. Very simple. You draw one gadget, you win. That's the game plan. I'll explain the combo later. Actually, I'll explain it now. It searches Cyberstein. whoop de doo This is how you FTK in 2019. So what you do here is you pendulum summon one gadget. You Sorry, you just special summon the other gadget. Pluses for days. You go into your boy Gear Geek and X to search the Cyberstein. Normal summon it. And then, by summoning some fusion, doing some plays, some guard dragon plays, which I'll show you guys later. You power tool dragon, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you later. Get the side, the, you get this card on the cyber side with Rodakius, and you bring out three of these bad boys, and you hit them for uh, 2700 damage for each, is 8100 damage. GG, well played. Go back to Mexico. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do it later at the end of the combo and the exact deck profile, but this is obviously the deck profile first. So, those 10 machines needed. Next, the actual way to win the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! is your 21 turbo cards. The 21 commandments, every Yu-Gi-Oh! deck needs to play all 21 because if you're not playing pendulums, what are you doing? So you need to play 21, not debatable. You want to play pure pendulums with uh, no rusty, no nothing. Uh, 40 cards, you're an idiot. You must play Dragon Ravines and Terraformings. It's your win con going first and second. More turbo cards is more auto win and more Yazis are also more auto wins. 31, not debatable. Nine gadgets is a must. Gadgets do not break. They literally say add another gadget and they're not once per turn. You add them forever and ever and ever. It's not debatable. You need to play nine gadgets. If you want to play gadgets, fine. But I'm saying if you're going to play gadgets, you need to play in 69 and 46. Now the pen, the magicians. I'm introducing a new magician here. Dragon Collar Magician. Better than Purple Poison. What does Purple Poison do for you? It literally says do nothing. It literally says there is no, it says nothing. It literally says nothing on the card. It says I'm a Pendulum Garnet with a cool name that used to be good <laughs> in a past format is its actual effect. What does this do? It gives you another level 7. You don't need to play Garnet Fang Magician and you don't need to play Jank Magician either. No, the only reason you play Janky Magician, I mean Jank Junk Magician, is it's a level 7. Now you have a level 7 that actually does something. What's it do, Steven? Let me tell you what it does, fans. It gives you a free dragon. Now when you don't need, you don't need your uh, Dark Worm to do a bunch of guard dragon plays. Now you can simply make your gadget a dragon. You can make your dragon pit magician a dragon. You can make whatever on earth you want a dragon. So because of that, it opens up so many plays with the guard dragons to FTK your opponent into oblivion. Also ensuring that you don't need another level seven. Two sevens, perfect. No bricks, none of these brick. They're good to draw. The level sevens are great to draw. Because the combo is very easy to do if you draw two sevens. And Oath is obviously not a brick. So literally zero Garnet Magicians. So far, no bricks in the deck. So Dragon Cyber Signs are literally FTK auto win itself. And Dragon Gadgets plus 50. So no bricks so far. What else? Six more auto wins. Why would you not want to play? Get any skill you want in your deck. Also any levels you want. Next, Jackals. A great way. If you draw into this, you even 
negate your opponent in hand trap if they're trying to save their hand trap for the RFTK, you stop that. You say, no, I got a jackal. You're not stopping my burning you for game. Uh, you win. Next, two dark worm, one gate zero. You want to summon the, the gadgets. You don't want to normal summon the dark worm. Dark worms are literally only there. The only, the only reason you're playing two and not one is in case you hard draw one. You want to always foolish or ravine or shrine it away, which is why you play two. If you play three, it's only if you're not playing another normal summon in the deck. But if you're playing a normal summon in the deck, like a whole nine card engine normal summons, two is like, without a doubt, don't play two. If you play three, you are the definition of a sheep and you're talking to the shepherd. Next, <laughs> Symphonic Warrior Mikes. This card is busted. I'm going to find a way to play this in every deck moving forward, especially when you throw a normal summon engine in it. Like, the card literally says, Gemini Seraphonite without playing 50 bricks in your deck. Why would you not want to play it? And it's a Pendulum. Electromite, send it. Pen summon, extra normal summon that turn. Gadget's not summoning itself by your normal summon. That gadget's gonna get back another gadget. That gadget summoned by a Sayuja summon. That gadget's gonna get another gadget. Mike summon, that gadget's gonna summon. Get yourself another gadget. Then your pen summon, get yourself another gadget. Etc. 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 Et cetera, et cetera, until you win. Destrudo. Yeah, really, Sayuja, my vortex negates. I still win. Destrudo, bring it out with uh, the guard dragons, and if you draw it, whatever, all good. Allure, you want to cipher through your deck to get the good cards. Well, there are no bad cards, so I don't even know why I played this. I used to play it with bad cards like Black Fang, but now we don't really need it, but draw power is nice. Lastly, the other win card, if you draw it, it's so much easier to OTK. Three of these. So if you, for those who don't know, you bring out Cyberstein with the gadgets. As I said, where are you? Okay, you bring this out. Like, I swear gadgets were made for Cyberstein. Like, they kind of look the same. They actually look like they're literally the same card. Uh, they're made to, gadgets are made to search uh, Cyberstein, I'm telling you. Now, you search Cyberstein, the Guard Dragon combo, which is why it's so broken, gives you a free Destrudo as well as a free Negate to stop them from negating your FTK. And Power Tool Dragon, which is what you're going to make with the uh, Destrudo, because uh, it's a Synchro 7, is one of these. So you show them three, if you draw one, it's okay. You don't need to make a Power Tool Dragon, it makes your play even easier. Uh, and it makes it, you can even put up another negate on top to negate, in case you have two hand traps to negate your, your FTK. And then you simply put this on here, you link away a bunch of times, and you end up, uh, what this does, it lets you use Cyber Sign's effect without paying costs, and you can use it as many times as you want per turn, bringing out three of these bad boys with nine cards in the field by the end of the combo. You're gonna have a Saryuja, you're gonna have something like this, a Saryuja, a Vortex, a cyber stein three of these and then two scales whatever it may be and it's simply gonna this is gonna be nine in total one two three four five six seven eight nine the effect of this do damage to your opponent multiply by the amount of cards you have by 300 so nine times 300 is 2700 times three is 8100 equals auto win triff math so that is the main deck profile and i'm gonna show you guys the extra deck and it's honestly 99 percent success rate hand traps do affect it which is why they're it's not like the best just because hand traps do affect it but if you enter this in a tournament in a regional you're you're getting your top you're getting your invite without a doubt you're getting your invite guaranteed this if they hand trap your electrum you literally win if they save the hand trap for your ftk you lose uh, sometimes but they don't know that they're gonna think oh you're this guy's a scrub this guy's playing this guy no chance this guy watches uh trip gaming's channel no chance he's definitely playing to negate pendulum pass dot deck but no, you're not playing that. You watch the greatest YouTube channel on the planet. So you're putting up infinite negate, FTK negate, dot deck. So they're going to negate your Electrum, and you're going to FTK them into Oblivion. Next, extra deck time. Obviously, best card in the world, Electrum. Next, you're going to be playing your Guard Dragon Engine. And you saw the combo already. This is all the engine. You, need, you don't need the other one. What's it called? Pisty? Because it's piss. You don't need it. So you're going to go LP. Or so you're going to go Burst Drag. Uh, LP, basically, you summon... Dark Worm going to LP. If you don't have access to Dark Worm, your boy Dragon Caller is going to come clutch. Uh, better than Purple Poison with Guard Dragons. Targeting that to make it... Uh, make Targeting the, the card here to make it a, a Dragon if you don't have Dark Worm. Then you go into Burst with the card here. Bringing out the Strudo. Then with the Strudo and this, you go into Agar Pain. Giving your opponent lots of pain. And then summoning out Vortex Dragon. And Vortex is Vortex yeah, is gonna negate yeah, everything else. So obviously they, they're gonna stop your interruptions from there. If they stop it from here, you still have access to make your whole combo with Cyberstein, etc., etc. But if they don't, they have to stop it here. If not, Vortex is protecting the actual the Cyberstein, and if Cyberstein resolves, you win. And at this point, you can still Cyberstein with a decent hand, even if they hand trap the LP and stuff. So 
After that, you link away these two in a random card you don't need. There's always one extra card for Sayuja. And you keep waiting for the combo, but you do have to watch the other video to explain it. Now, uh, that is a guard dragon combo. One, we do play two Sayuja, but I'll explain the Sayuja, the others, the reason we like Sayuja at the very end. I want to go in chronological order of the combo as I explain the, the extra deck. Uh, so then you go Sayuja, and then you do the combo. Because you have so many gadgets summoning themselves, this is also where you go into Gear Gigi. This is where you also go into Power Tool. Uh, with the Destrudo that you got from the LP. No and then, uh, I'm putting the zones in not the exact place right now. Uh, it's gonna be something like this, but when you do the combo. They're gonna go into Reprodocus. You can use your, act your actual normal summon to summon Cyberstein. This is gonna be getting you the Telekinetic Cell card. Right over here. You normal summon the Cyberstein. You activate this, now you can summon as many fusions as you want. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into with Reprodogus and Gear Gigan. Uh, you're gonna go into Metaltron. Oh, okay. uh, and then you're gonna summon uh, the Metaltron is needed for this combo, by the way. You're gonna summon one of them. One random fusion. I play Mikaba because I like Mikaba, but you can literally put anything you want. In the future, I will play. I'm sure there's some fusion in the game that does more than 800 damage. Uh, in case you have only eight cards on field, Lira Lust only does 500. So it's starving kind of bro. I miss my boy. I miss my boy. Bring it back, Konami, or else uh, you're nothing. Give me a reason not to bring it back. Please bring it back. Really I love you. Now, that? no, please. This is exactly why the card was stupid. Come back. He's my boy. Now, what? After that, you link these away for that second. So, Yuji, I told you guys about uh, giving you two extra zones where you summon the last two and OTK your opponent into oblivion. You're gonna obviously have two scales because how do you pendulum summon without two scales? And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Drift math. Nine times twenty-seven hundred auto win. That's how you do it. Now, <laughs> not yeah, whatever. Three times twenty-seven. Imperm now, what? what? <laughs> so, oh, you imperm, imperm, imperm my electrum, imperm right? Imperm neg, yeah. neg, neg. Win. Let's go. That's what you do. Now, if you notice, there's a lot of extra deck cards for the combo. No problem. I got you guys. So, side deck. You're going to think out to the box because it's what we do here at ShepherdGaming.com to take care of all the sheep in the world. So what we do here is we literally side an extra deck. Yeah, this is called having a brain. So since you're siding a lot of, since you're mating, you're pretty much all extra decks for the combo. Obviously the extra deck has a lot of cards that are good going second as well. But you want to make sure you have the broken stuff. So you're siding out the FTK going second. You want something for Cyberstein to be amazing. So after they waste all their interruptions on your Electrum, your Guard Dragons, Scared of Boral Swords, you whoop them with a little exterior play coming, which you're still searching your boy Cyberstein, and you're still getting exterior. After you clear their board, they're gonna be left with an ex you're gonna be left with an exterior and a boral, boral sword, etc., etc., and your opponent cries and a jackal vortex, all that jazz. Uh, Yazi, you side into the mirror package as well because it's too broken going second, and you want all the borals. And the way you you beat thunder is just summon this guy and call it a day. You have nine more cards left in your side. Or another way to beat thunder is three sphere modes. But you got Boral Lotus, your modes, you win. You don't even need to draw these cards. They're just nice auto wins. So another card is two Denko, two Hey Uh I don't... Sky Striker do suck, but I did get cucked by them the other day. So I thought maybe I need to decide more than zero cards against Sky Striker. So we put four. So Hey Trunade is pretty good against them. And against Salaman by four cards are enough. Two Denko, two Red Reboot. That's all you really need. If they have hand traps, they don't do shit anyways. That's a deck. Absolute auto win. Go check out my combo tutorial if you haven't already. It's absolutely amazing. And honestly, I've outdone myself. Uh, there will be a spot for me in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hall of Fame when it's all said and done. But until then, I'm going to keep breaking this game. And Konami unban me so I can do it at events. Hope you like this video. Get my beautiful trick game. Put in the description below. Shout out my team, Game Nation. And we'll see you guys next video. Peace.